What have you chosen? Life, business, money, wealth, prosperity and abundance came to you with ease, joy and glory. And anything that does not allow this, you destroyed and uncreated it all times a gazillion. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to create abundance through a positive attitude. Last week, using the dowsing rods, I showed you how you need coherence between the brain, heart and gut. If you have a positive attitude, you attract things to you. If you are negative, you repel things. A positive attitude, an unwavering sense of purpose, being specific about what you want, and a commitment to serve your fellow human, will go a long way to setting you on the path to success, whatever that means to you. A positive attitude can go a long way to helping us achieve the security, power, fulfillment, and harmony that we all strive for. I recently watched a YouTube video with lessons from Joe Dispenza, the mindset guru. Here's what he said. The universe does not speak English. It speaks frequency. He went on to say that if your mind, thoughts, feelings and beliefs are not aligned, you won't reach the desired frequency. Hence, you won't fool the universe. Everything around you, including you, has a frequency. It emits a specific vibration. Money is a frequency, success is a frequency, and desperation is a frequency. Think of it like a radio. If you don't tune into the right frequency, you get static. Tune into the right frequency and you get the station you want to listen to. So how does one get into the right frequency so that you can manifest whatever you want to? Here are six tips that may be useful to you. Number one, you have to be specific with your goals. Let's use a car for example. What make is it? What color is it? What does the interior look like? Number two, attach an emotion to something. So attach emotion to driving the car. How will you feel once you've bought it? Will you feel a sense of pride and accomplishment because you have worked hard to get it? Number three, there are two days a year where nothing can be done. One is named yesterday and the other is named tomorrow. Every manifestation guru says that you have to manifest from the present and not from the future. If you say something like, I want to lose weight now, you defer the goal. A better way to frame it is, I am at my ideal healthy weight now. You see, the mind doesn't know the difference between reality and fantasy. So it believes whatever you say. Number four, let go and let God. This means that once you set an intention and take action to set the wheels in motion, leave it to the universe to give it to you in its time. Number five, love is the most powerful frequency of all. So go on, open your heart. And number six, gratitude is the grammar of success. Don't only be grateful when you achieve your goals, when something great happens for you. Be grateful now that you get to play right now, today, is enough reason to be grateful. Be positive now. You're not a victim. You're a creator. You're a masterpiece creating a masterwork. Now go out and be a champion. The world is waiting for you.